Hi, my name's Simon. Welcome to this video where I'm going to share with you some hints and tips about how you can use OBS to improve your online teaching environment. In this particular video, I'm going to be talking about chroma key, in other words, the green screen, and how you set that up on OBS. Now, this is a video I should have done a long time ago, um, and I apologize for not doing so, but I've been reading the comments and people have been asking, how do I do this cutout thing? How do I do this floating head thing? So in this video, I am going to show you. Now, this video is going to be broken into two parts. The first part is a simply, how do you do it? The second part is a wider discussion about the issues that you might have in setting up the green screen. Okay, so first things first, how do you set up the chroma key? The first thing I'm going to do is bring across OBS. Right, there are two sources that you can see here. You can see the web camera, which is me and the green screen, and you can see the my monitor, which is the, the, the Word document that you can see behind me. So I'm going to right click on my web camera, the video capture device, and I'm going to click on filters. And I'm just going to break, drag this down into the middle of the screen and make this a little bit smaller. There we go. Now, what I want to do is I want to click on the plus button and I want to click on chroma key. I always accept the default name, but it's up to you if you want to change this. Click OK. And there we go. The default settings are applied. If I click on close or shut the window, now you can see the green screen has gone away and the effect is working. Okay, and it's as simple as that. Click a few buttons and the green screen disappears. Now I just want to talk about a few of the issues, the problems that you might have when you're setting up your green screen. The first thing to remember is the order of your video sources. Make sure that your web camera is at the top and everything else that you want to show is below the web camera. If, for example, I have my monitor and it's, in, it's above the web camera, I disappear. So I've got to make sure that my web camera is at the top. The second thing, uh, the other things are more green screen specific. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off my green screen to show you what I'm talking about. Let's go to filters and I'm going to click on this button to make it disappear. OK, or rather, no, I'm not. I'm going to do, do it this way around. If you're having problems getting the green screen setting just right, there are a couple of things to think about, or there's a couple of settings to play with. The first setting is similarity. If I move this this way, you can see that the green screen effect becomes less. I don't know what this is technically called, so I'm going to describe this in the way that I understand. Hopefully, you'll follow me. If I go the other way, you'll see that I disappear. So this is the, the, the first major setting you want to play around with in order to get that balance right between making the green screen disappear and, or, and stopping yourself from disappearing. So let's put that onto 400. Once you've got that balance as best you can, then the next, uh, the next setting to play around with is smoothness. And smoothness makes is a, is a slightly different effect. But if you can see, if I've moved this all the way down to one, around my head, you can see a green halo. And around my body, you can also see a green halo. And the green screen is beginning to suffer. So this is just that kind of fine tuning, if you will, to get the green screen just right. So I'll pop that back onto 40, which I think was the original setting. Oh, hang on a second. Where did that go? So those are the first two settings to play around with. If you're having difficulty getting the green screen working when you're playing with those two settings, then you've got to think about the single most important thing when it comes to getting your green screen working, and that is lighting. Lighting is key. 95% of the problems with green screens is to do with lighting. If you've played with similarity and you've played with smoothness and it's not going to work no matter how hard you try, I can guarantee you now the problem is going to be with the lighting. And I've recorded in many rooms around my house with various different um, light sources, natural light, artificial light, a mixture of both. And it's always been a problem getting that balance just right. So if you can find a lighting solution which will allow the, the perfect effect, and I don't think I've ever managed to get the perfect effect, 
then um, this is where this is the first thing that you should look at after playing with similarity and smoothness. One mistake you don't want to make is thinking it's technology. And straight away, people normally think, my web camera isn't good enough, my monitor isn't good enough, my computer isn't good enough, or the green screen isn't good enough. No, play around with the lighting first. Get yourself different lights, put them in different places behind the green screen, in front of you, to the side of you, and, and invest some time in trying to get the effect to work. And then once you've got that effect, as good as you can, then you, without spending thousands of euros or swati or dollars or pounds or whatever it is that you're spending, just accept that it's the best it's going to be. If you're a perfectionist, then this might become an expensive business. Business. If you are happy to deal, just work with the best that you can do on a budget, then you might have to make some compromises. Another tip that I want to give you is about how you set this up because you see the settings screen in front of you as you can see the screen here and you get this perfect. You eliminate the green screen as best as you possibly can. But I've noticed that the, this settings screen is a little bit different to the actual main screen that your students will be watching. So when you're setting up the green screen on the settings screen, so if I go back and open that up again, and I'm going to pop that over here. You've got to keep an eye over here and you've got to keep an eye over here because what's perfect over here might not be perfect over here and what's not perfect over here might be good enough over here. So for example, <clears throat> on the settings screen here, you can see there's a green halo around my head and I might invest a lot of time and energy in trying to get that, trying to remove that and, and so on, only to find when I have a look at the main screen, it looks it doesn't look so good. And here, that green halo pretty much disappears. You can't really see it. The other thing to think about is the color of your uh, background. So at the moment, this is a white screen. It's Microsoft Word. If I go to the Windows uh, homepage, then you can see there's lots of different types of blues. So you can see different imperfections with different color backgrounds. So that's another thing to think about. When you're recording, when you're showing your students whatever it is that you want to show, think about the color of your background as well. It might hide one or two of those blemishes. Another thing to think about is your size. Obviously, the bigger you are, the bigger the imperfections will be on the screen. The smaller you are, the less the imperfections, because just remember, if you can see on OBS behind me, this is the size of your webcam. So if you're big, the, the, the blemishes, the problems will be big. If you're small, the blemishes, the problems will be small. And that's one of the main reasons why I tuck myself down in the corner because it, help, it helps to hide the imperfections in the green screen in the chroma key. So that's another thing to think about. Similarly, I don't, very often I don't show the whole web camera. So here you can see the red screen which um, shows my web camera. Very often I just tuck myself into the corner like this. So you can't see the whole web camera. And that's because some areas of my green screen don't work very well sometimes, so I just want to get rid of those. It might be the case that I put myself over here to hide the problems on the other side. So you've got to um, play around a little bit with and see if you can get a, the best possible effect making as few compromises as possible and just using a little bit of ingenuity in order to uh, solve the problem. So I'll just pop myself back into my favorite corner. Okie dokie. That is basically how you set up the green screen. So setting up the green screen in itself is really, really easy. If you're lucky, the default settings will work for you and it will be brilliant. If you're unlucky because of lighting reasons or because of a different color green screen, then you're going to have to play around with those settings just a little bit. Okie dokie. If you've got any questions about this video, please leave them below. If you've got any other ideas for any other content that I might make that I could make to help you guys out, then let me know in the comments below and I'll do that for you. Okay, I'll see you soon.